Alright guys, gonna be using this flame proof uh, paint. It's a flat finish, so and it's pretty pretty darn it gets pretty darn hard hard. So we're painting this guy. Kinda send it down. So make sure you send it down before you paint it. So let's see. Let's see the magic. Let's let the magic appear. This is a good what I'm doing right now, it's a good appearance to, to sell your uh, ATVs. Before you sell it, you want to make it nice look, you know. It's all about the looks. When the buyer comes, you want to make sure your ATV looks nice. Not too shiny though. Don't make it too shiny because that's what uh, backs, up, backs up the buyers because it's too shiny. If I go buy an ATV, I don't want to see it too shiny. I want to make sure nothing is rusty looking. Um, it looks clean, you know. It doesn't look like a flipper. So this won't look like a flipper because it's a, it's a, it's a flat black. So it's not going to look shiny, which I don't like. Because if it's going to look shiny, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be ugly. When it dries out, it's going to look nice and flat. Paint this. This we won't even see this part of it. But yep, this is how. Because I had two buyers already, and they complained about the rust on the why is the exhaust rustic looking. So this is it's gonna solve the problem for the next buyer. We won't have attention to this. Um, I don't know about plastics. I'm not gonna change plastics, and I'm not gonna paint them. There's some scratches here and there. Um, it's a off-road vehicle, you know. What, what do you expect? It's gonna be like a princess, you know, show car, show off car, or show off ATV. No, it's just gonna be a ATV for uh, off-roading or hunting, you know. And that's what this guy's meant for. Be alone in the woods, just you and the ATV and the nature. So let's see. Let's go back to the exhaust. It's kind of getting too, too dry. So I'll show you guys in my next video the results of it and how it looks installed. And it's pretty easy to take this guy off. Just this, there's like four springs. You just pull them out and then it just pops out. Real easy. So, take care guys.